Tonight, law enforcement is doing their best to make sure drunk drivers are stopped. But what about those driving under the influence of marijuana? Your reporter in the mountains, Spencer Wilson, caught up with Colorado researchers who are hoping to make it easier for law enforcement to accurately diagnose someone driving under the influence of pot. Ever since the legalization of marijuana in Colorado, law enforcement has been trying to figure out a way to tell if somebody is under the influence of marijuana behind the wheel. But the issue is, right now, there's not a great standard for them to test. There are technically marijuana breathalyzers already out there right now on the market, but their quality in doing what a breathalyzer needs to do, help law enforcement accurately decide if someone's driving impaired, they're not quite up to snuff, at least so, for the Colorado State Patrol. Um, as an agency, we decided that that's not where we're going to go. That being said, it's an interesting idea if we could make it work, or so researchers at CU think. What we're doing is we're trying to establish whether it's feasible to collect and detect cannabis in breath after somebody has recently used. A more difficult task than you might imagine. Alcohol is pretty linear. If you have it in your blood or in your breath, you're impaired. CU said weed is not so simple, as residue barely shows up after use. So being able to detect those low levels um, in breath is, is one step, but also understanding, you know, with these tiny, tiny levels, what does a lot of cannabis mean? What does a little bit of cannabis mean? And what does that mean in relation to how recently you've used? These are all super important questions that our research is trying to answer. Researchers have published their initial study with promising results. Our research initially is showing, hey, yeah, we can do that breath collection um, after recent use. We can detect those cannabinoids and you know, actually chemically quantify them in meaningful ways. And then the next step is to really break it down to um, studying people over time, comparing different products, and trying to understand really what this looks like within an individual. And can we create kind of meaningful thresholds or cut points like we have for, you know, everyone knows kind of, you know, 0.08 BAC, that's sort of the thing everyone knows. More info is great, especially for Colorado State Patrol, who admits all law enforcement knows way less than they would like to know. I don't want to say treading water, but I think we're, we're pretty close. Um, and, you know, there's thousands of studies worth alcohol. Until we get some more things we can hang our hat on, we are technically trying to work with what we know. That means more accurate testing for drivers and better tools for law enforcement to keep our roads safe, something everyone can get behind. CU researchers told me they weren't comfortable giving a timeline of how soon they could create a marijuana breathalyzer that could be used to help quantify how inebriated somebody is behind the wheel after using marijuana or if it's even possible down the line. But they did say they are expecting to be able to generate some good data that should help law enforcement keep the road safe regardless of whether or not they end up with a product. In the high country, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Spencer travels all around our high country to tell stories across Colorado. Recently, he's reported in Clear Creek, Gilpin, Garfield, Pitkin, and Summit counties, just to name a few. You can send him your ideas through our website, cbscolorado.com.